It's six o'clock in the morning, and the Lord is waking up. The Lord is waking up. That means wake up! <laughs> wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, what up, Grab girl? my glasses, I'm out the door. I'm gonna hit this city Let's before go. I leave. Brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. Cause when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. I start my life out with prayer every morning. We call this the monastery. I live here with 13 other monks. In the morning, we start off by prayer. And in the afternoon, we help teach those who need help. We spread the word of God, and we help those who are weary. Westwood. Welcome to my manor house. Come on in. This is just stone house with two floors. I will walk you around. I named the manor after myself. There are about 50 households on this manor, which is a population of about 200 to 250 people. Here's the Great Hall, where I work on my business matters related to my land in the morning. My lands are rent to the peasants for farming. I usually hear reports about crops, harvests, and supplies. I earn money from rents, tributes from my knights, and taxes such as on marriage. I also tax peasants and serfs for their use of my meal, oven, and wine press. During the day, I would settle disputes and preside over complaints of the people too. If there are cases arising on the manor, they will be tried in the manorial court before me in the night. Court hearings are charged. Runs can be usually atoned for, for by the payment of a fine. So here's the kitchen where food is made. I have breakfast between 7, 6 and 8, 7 in the morning. Usually very simple, white bread with wine or ale. Dinner is eaten between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. in which I have three courses. Excuse me, do you need anything? No, I don't need anything. Are you sure? No, I, can, I can make you food or no, shine your I'm shoes? I'm very busy right Are now. Are you sure? Get out. Are you so I can Get do out. anything you want me to do. Get out! Oh my gosh. Is it 3 a.m. already? Oh my god, I have to go work every day. I have to wake up and work and work and work. People always think that I can just do whatever they tell me to do, but I'm I'm way more important than that. People can't just boss me around like like I'm some type of, you know, piece of trash or something. I just can't, I can't deal with this. You want me to wash dishes. I hate my life. I hate my life. I hate my life. I hate my life. Are you complaining? <laughs> no. I mean. No, I'm not complaining. I'm not. There's usually fish and meat offered with wine and ale. I have supper between 6 and 7 in the evening. Supper is very similar to dinner. Here are also a brewery, a bakery, and a dairy where butter and cheese are made. Becoming a knight is a very difficult process. At age 7, I became a page where I was one of the knight's servants and I did simple tasks around the castle. At age 15, I became a squire where I started training with real weapons and doing more difficult tasks. Then at age 21, I proved my bravery and, and finally became a knight at the dubbing ceremony. The Code of Chivalry is a code which I live by. In this code, you show bravery, courtesy, honor, and great gallantry towards women. The Code of Chivalry states that I need to have strength and skills in battle, but I also have to temper my aggressive side with my chivalrous side to nature. Jousting is a tradition among us knights, where two men mount on horses armed with lances. 
The goal is to knock the other knight off the horse. This is done to show off our skills and abilities to establish our rank within the community. As a senior knight, I keep the manor safe by riding around on my horse and uh, surveying the borders and making sure everything is okay within the manor. At the hour of Christ, amen. This is the main church. Here, my fellow monks and I pray and teach those who need spiritual guidance. St. Benedict tells us when to pray, eat, and sleep. He is the one who binds us all together as monks. Here, this is where the manuscripts are written. Manuscripts are handwritten pieces of fine art that can be preserved for decades. We also teach here. We teach the young kids spiritual guidance that they need. We spread the word of God. As a peasant, I doesn't have the, the greatest education. I study with the monks during the evening hours when I do not need to work in the fields. Most of my days are spent working in the fields or working for my lord. I am a peasant and not a serf, which means that I am free, so I do, I'm not owned by a master and I'm not forced to work, but I have to in order to survive. On our farm, we have on the left, where we keep the animals, we have pigs, cows, sheep, and even goats further down. And over here we have our pond where the fish swim. And on the right by the pond, we have a water mill that will churn and chop the grain so that we can make bread. As a peasant, I am I'm forced to pay taxes to my lord. We also have to get, as peasants, we have to get permission for almost everything we do. Soon I want to get married to knit such the cute, and we're going to ask our lord for permission. <laughs> Hello, what do you, what'd you need? We come to you, Lord, to ask for permission to get married. I grant permission to you guys to get married today. Yay! <laughs> the impact of manners on today's society include farming technology such as three-field system for crop rotation to preserve the fertile soil and the land. Another major impact is religion. Over time, Christianity became the dominant religion in Europe during the Middle Ages and the church was the center of life. These contribute to the situation nowadays that Christianity has the largest number of followers worldwide. Under the system of feudalism, peasants who were at the bottom of the social hierarchy faced many social problems. They had to provide for everyone the food and their land and possessions belonged to the Lord. Peasants live in unhygienic and disease-ridden environments most peasants only bathed once or twice throughout their entire lifetime, and as they worked on the fields all day, most peasants were uneducated, and the church was the only place where they got information. The majority of the population had a regression away from education. That's all I got. That's all I got. Okay. Go! Go! Let me get in Go! Out. Is it starting? <laughs> 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 Here, my felt, my, 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 <laughs> Becoming a knight is a very difficult process. At age seven, Penis! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it slipped out like came out like a bird. Please get out. Are you sure? I can get do out. anything you want. Get out! I totally went the opposite way. Dinner is eaten between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. in which I have three courses. There's usually meat and feet and fish offered with... <laughs> um, for dinner, there's usually meat and fish offered. <laughs> dinner is eaten between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. in which I have three courses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a peasant and not a smurf. I'm not a smurf. and the water mill turns the water so that we can produce crops. 
crops. <laughs> Most of my days are spent working in the fields or working for my Lord. I wake up early and <laughs> this is Nitsaj. <laughs> Finally, as our last technique, we use the three field system. So we'll have three field system.